Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. I want to welcome all new visitors. Thank you for stopping by. And I want to thank all of my loyal subscribers for liking, sharing, giving a thumbs up, and commenting on videos. They're automatically entered in a contest for a free phone reading with me. Capricorn, Capricorn, this is a Cross Watchers video. This video is focused solely upon how your love interest person with whom you are having a relationship, past, present, or future, uh, feels about you. Flexible. Okay, I like that. Flexibility is important. All right, we will clarify all the cards also. And then an oracle card at the end for you. All right, the tribe. This person has fierce loyalties. Very fierce loyalties to their history, to their tribe, round and round. Sometimes it feels like a merry-go-round, but we shall see what we shall see for our Capricorns. All right. So Capricorn, what is this person's energy in terms of your relationship in the recent past? What is their energy in terms of their connection with you in the recent past? There we go. Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius in the house, feeling on top of the world, feeling like they're having good luck. Temperance, Sagittarius again, you may be dealing with a Sag. They want reconciliation, they want to balance the scales, they want to even things out, they want to bring peacefulness, happiness, patience, and a very good communication to this relationship. What? How do they see the situation? Beautiful, look at this. They see the situation as being one in which they want to take a beautiful adventure in love with you. The three of wands as your ships have come in. This is a person I want to be with. I'm willing to take that surfboard and go into the surf and take my chances emotionally, risk-taking uh, to try to build something substantial. All right, how does your person see you, feel about you? A lot comes out in this particular card. So the next Next two cards are, you know, sort of what they think, feel, and how they view you. Um, and we'll just see which one's which here. Here we go. They have something to tell you. They are in a big hurry. They are running for that motorcycle to cop on and come and see you, Capricorn. Look at beautiful Virgo energy. They see you as a person who's abundant, looking good, taking care of yourself, high self-esteem. You are a person who has it together. They admire you. They feel like you are attractive. They better hurry up because somebody else could run in there and snatch you out of their energy field. All right, how do they feel in their heart space about you, Capricorn? How does this person feel in their heart space about you? How do they feel in their heart space about you? Whoops, there we go. Okay, the King of Swords. They feel very spiritually connected to you. They feel as though the two of you have a bright future together. However, this person is a little detached, you know. They do have options. So, and there is a bit of an immature energy here with the Knight of Swords. They want to tell you that they're trying to make a decision. We're going to clarify what that decision will be. This person wants to make a head over heart decision, though. I'm not necessarily fond of that in the heart space, but clarifiers will take care of that for us. All right. So we'll see. This person just has something. They want to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And what you say to them will be part of their decision-making process about whether they give themselves. This could be a fairly new relationship also. It could be a reconciliation if you've broken up. Um, but it, again, I don't feel like there's tons of history here. All right, so look at this. Leo energy, six of wands. This person wants to be victorious in the way that they reach out to you. They want success in your relationship. They don't know quite how to achieve it is what I'm getting. They really want to problem solve and to look at things intellectually and emotionally. This person has a tendency to be a little bit aloof though by nature. 
Aquarius energy is very uh, aloof and it's beautiful though. Look at this. I love this energy for you. Hidden. Hidden the, what you don't see Capricorn. What they have hidden from the world and, and sometimes even themselves is this energy is all about traditional thought. This is like the traditional marriage. This person's laughing at traditions because they believe, well, they're very enlightened, so we have Aquarius energy. So this per person sees that connection and intimacy is a stairway to heaven, so to speak, that what they want is at the top, the sunshine, the enlightenment, the beauty. They want the journey. They want the, the surf ride, you know, in the ocean with you, but they want somebody who will remain exciting to them in terms of a long uh, committed relationship. So they have very enlightened ideas about what that all means. What's going to happen in the near future is the Knight of Cups. What's the outcome for this relationship right now? Capricorn, you've shown up in the reading. You will be the one to decide the fate of this relationship. They are bowing down to you. They're saying, I'm giving you the choice. Um, the decision will be yours, Capricorn, and, and they feel really comfortable. Whoever this person is feels very comfortable <clears throat> taking their chances in this relationship. They think that you could go the distance. Again, for most of you, I don't think this is a relationship that's gone on for years. I think that at most it's probably a relationship unless you've known this person from childhood. It's probably a relationship that is um, probably fairly young. Oh, look at that. That card was in the middle of the deck, so I have to take it. Ah, Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, indicating that they're holding back on their feelings with you while they're, they, you know, it's like doing the happy dance. Ooh, Capricorn's letting me take them out on a date. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, hello, Capricorn. How are you today? Day. Very prim and proper, very reserved. <laughs> Temperance card is Sagittarius energy, so that that is a person who's much more comfortable reaching out. This is a card of flexibility. This is a very successful person. Capricorn, Capricorn. This person has a has a lot going on for them. This person is very accomplished. The world card is sort of like, I want to start a new chapter in my life and with you. So it can be reconciliation. This person could be from another culture, another country, or another ethnicity. But this person has achieved a great deal in their lives. And so they do share that energy with you. When I get the King of Swords, I look at somebody who's an intellectual who stumbles a little bit with their emotions, but very intellectual, very successful, and they want to be successful with you. The Empress card, they want the they want they feel as though you're amazingly loving. This is known as a mommy card. This is known this is a planet Venus. It represents everything about love and abundance, and that's what they really feel for you. That's what they want with you. That's the direction they're headed. They're ready to go take the surf and throw themselves into their destiny and romance with you. Love that. The Knight of Cups. Again, if this is a reconciliation, this person tried to walk, you know, tried to ride away and realize that their cup was empty without you, okay? So for some of you, it'll be whatever it resonates with each viewer. The Four of Swords, they definitely feel as though they said something that wounded you and that they need to clarify this. They need to come back and tell you. Oh, but they see you again. Man, they think you are powerful. And you are. You know, Capricorn, you are. Uh, this Virgo energy indicates that they think that at the end of the day, you don't need them at all and that you'll be 100% fine without them, which is motivating them to run, run, <laughs> run, 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 run. I wanted to say forest, but I don't see, I don't want to throw any shade on anybody's um, emotional IQ, EQ. All right, so, <laughs> but this person does think that you're much more grounded, you're much more in touch with your emotions, and they are a little bit aloof. You know, they do have a tendency to sort of intellectualize feelings. All right, so Capricorn, you look like the wiser in this situation. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here twice?
Justice card. Whoa, I love that. That's Libra energy, and what it really says is that you want balanced scales, and temperance is balanced. You demand that in relationship, that you want balance, equal give and take, fairness, uh, equality, beautiful energy. This card right here is poking out again. Four of Pentacles. They want to hold back on their emotions. They don't, they feel as though when they've been overly emotional in the past, that they've gotten themselves into trouble, that they've made the wrong choice at the wrong time. The Eight of Swords, they really kind of don't know what to do with the emotional side of life. Again, this is a person that holds on, may be a little bit jealous, could have a tendency. This person may feel controlling to you, but I don't see them as actually being controlling. They're just trying to control what happens to them. Um, so it's very sort of self-imposed restriction. And yeah, the two of coins, they just, sometimes they get so inside their head that they can't really make a decision very easily. Why do they want the six of wands with you? Why do they want to be successful? Oh yes, okay, here we have. We have somebody that said something to you, Capricorn. They said something hurtful to you. Now, I don't think it was overly hurtful because this person isn't, they're just like, wow, did they just take a swipe at me? Sort of more like, like whatever they said would have been cold and thoughtless and you're, you're not destroyed by it. I mean, you know, you look lovely here. You have beautiful shoes on. You have a beautiful hat on. This person has not stolen anything from you, but what they did do is violate your sense of trust. Like, can I trust this person? And the truth of the matter is, is that they are actually, their inner core is uh, the king of pentacles. I just think of a big caramel. Like that is, like that person's so sweet and so loving. That's the person they hold back. This is the person inside, this beautiful Taurus grounded energy. This person is very abundant. They've been very successful, uh, but they have a tendency. Again, I think that they're very likely to be like the King of Swords can be uh, an intellect, a professor, can be a lawyer, could be a judge, somebody who detaches, somebody who can't be overly emotional for their job. I could, you know, again, there's a lot of professions. Six of Pentacles is they know that they have to have, to have a good relationship with you. They need to come to the table fully prepared with their pocketbook. They need to bring their pocketbook to the restaurant. You know, they need to equally provide for this relationship. And that that is their ideal. They want a relationship of equality. They want this. They know you want it. It is a shared goal and idea. We had the King of Cups here twice, very romantic, coming in here with a big bouquet of flowers. In the past, this King may have come and gone and not invested, but I'm seeing them investing now, Capricorn. Nine of Cups, they want many more cups of love. <laughs> they feel as though they have let themselves down that they did not take this seriously enough at the beginning and they are coming round again. All right, so let's see why the Queen of Pentacles is here for my beautiful Caps. Why is why are you here in the reading, Cap? Well, it's about you, baby. Ah, oh, lover's card. They see you as a soulmate. They, that's your outcome card, that you are a soulmate. They're now going to really invest in the relationship where before they held back, this angel is absolutely protecting the two of you. So they feel as though they have found a soulmate. They were not aware of it, though. They were not aware of it earlier on. All right, so let's see. Why is this person needing flexibility? The Ace of Coins. Okay, they need to make an offer. They need to stop being so flexible and so open to just sort of traveling the road of life. They need to actually make an offer. The tribe, they're very loyal though. This is a person who's very loyal. Once someone's in their heart space, they're there pretty much forever. So this person chooses carefully. Temperance, oh, that is loyal to you. Temperance, temperance, Sagittarius energy. This person very much wants to 
be a part I uh, have have you as a family member you know uh, again we get the marriage card but this could mean the person defines it differently than traditional marriage Hierophant Hierophant is clarifying the Hierophant this person is thinking literally if they ever thought they never wanted a traditional marriage they're actually rethinking what that means they go round and round in their head about it uh, but oh look at the chariot card cancerian energy capricorn that is your opposite on the astrology wheel of marriage this person has what it takes beautiful energy this is surprising to me i thought the person was going to approach much more slowly this means that within the next seven days you should have a very very profound and clear-cut idea that this person is in the relationship to win it they really see you as beautiful lovely you embody everything about love that they cherish and um, they're coming back they want nine cups of love that the next one more cup after the nine is da 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 happily ever after all right so let's see how to stay grounded this is advice from spirit on how to stay grounded while you're sort of i don't want to say waiting because the grass doesn't wait for the sun to shine right or the sun doesn't wait wait, wait for the trees to flower out in nature you have to each day wake up oh and it says awakening <laughs> that's embarrassing oh my word that's so funny okay attraction and beginning newness and communing communing okay and community all right so it really talks about your awakening that you're waking up to maybe that this person has more depth yep decision choice opportunity and selection this person is going to choose you they are choosing you right now as we speak serenity have compassion acceptance and contentment and you do capricorn tends to be very wise Capricorn, it was delightful spending this time with you. I hope you enjoyed the reading, and I really look forward and hope to see you in the future. Really, what a pleasure. Thank you for staying. Bye-bye.